welcome to the usual Saturday morning edition of Augusta Only Podcast. You all know what it is. It's usual. Let's start with Elevation. Let's go with Elevation. Rio versus Angelica Risk. Rio going to sell record. Yeah, yeah, you know. So let's start the match. So we got a black side for Angelica Risk. And slapped into a disrespect. Not a wise decision. Risk had her arm ringer reversed, returned her favor to a course of booze and Atlanta. They came up the ropes for a shoulder tackle pin temp. The crowd chant, let's go Rio. And as long as she did not withstand a drop kick, Risk responded by yanking her head to the mat with fists of hair and turkey as turkey for giving her into a rakisha salute. Risk got trouble with a neck on the rope and followed by, by with a net break for two. Mark Henry said that she admired her work too much. Aiken said she's young in the game. Rios had a 619, a flying crossbody for a near fall. Risk pounded on the back and hit TDT for two. Rio fought, uh, fought out of a suplex and had a north line suplex out of her own for a near fall. Hit double knees for face and finish. I would have booked as a main event, not the opening match, but it's good either way. So we got the Nightmare Family versus the Wingman. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. So Jonathan and Valen start the match as Henry Chavon put over Evelyn, more talented than people credit for. Johnson hit a drop kick, iron trap for Anderson, Anderson kick tagged in. He liked that circa 1996, 1996, as Chavon said, drag, Drake tagged in, Anderson worked with the left arm until he got punched in the face, Anderson fought back with his elbows in the face. But guys, Nick snapped off the ropes, broke Barnett, and Nip took advantage out on the floor. Barnett tagged into some body work for a power handle, follow up slam. Drake came in to do some cannibals, so Elman tagged in for a dive and a near fall. The heels continued to work, and it started three on one until Anderson got a DT for a double down, and Henry begged for Anderson to make a hot tag at Rhodes. Avalon hit a uppercut, and Rhodes hit everybody for a good measure to Kingston. Keaton said he wanted to last long business to watch Justin. He hit a power slam. Johnson, Johnson had a sweet side dive to wipe out everybody. Rhodes hit a net break as Johnson hit the heels at the bay on side to get the pin. Three men stood tall. All he breathed afterward. A perfectly acceptable six man tag match. We got Brian Pillman Jr. with Julia Hart versus Sepetico. So this was a good match. So Pillman worked over Sepetico with Charles Forrest, turns to out, then pie face in the corner for a jackhammer. Becco got his boots on the road to break out the pin attempt. Pillman set the echo on the road, so got clapped on the ears. Luther screened at Sepeco, the swan tie for near fall. Luther hit a big boot to the head while he was on Mary Brown, had the scoop slam fire onto Pillman. But eventually he missed. Pillman had a flying close on the pin. Sepeco, for the seconds later, this was fine. We got the Factory versus Baron Bash, Sean Woodrick, and Tony Vinch, and John Mons. Ugo last. Enter last of the Factory Force and announcing Pillman's turn while their opponents wailed in the ring. Both teams has no record to exit in division. If there is such a thing, come on, time to bulldoze everybody. <sighs> Book to the symptom to it. Ugo tagged in, so he did black. Ugo pie faced him. Black gave him chops. Ugo picked him up for a big slam. Hardwick slipped the lip. Ugo over. Got punched right in the face for a knockout. Bring a quick game match. That was for the best. Mm-hmm. We got Ryu, Mizumi, and Abandoned vs. Emi Sakura the Bunny. Who makes the glue game. So, so Abandon, so Bat told the, so Abandon the Bunny shot the match. Bunny shoved, shoved it, kicked it, gave a running knee lift, right hands, and Abandon so no all of it. Ben hit an X-Factor for near fall. Bunny kicked it in the head. Abandon screamed at her. Bunny finally had another tag in Sakura. Mizumi follows him, gets Sakura chops. Bunny tried to make the save, so she gave them chops, and there were stats in the corner. Mizumi hit a running closer, but Saruge grabbed the boot on the outside as Black was distracted. Sakura did We Will Rock, Rock Chops, and Mizumi hit a crossbody to the corner. Sakura tried to pose for the camera, but Abandon scared everybody away. Mizumi fought back to her feet and hit a wrangle for Abandon. Got the tag, Bunny came back and hit Dust Kid, but Abandon tried to snap her neck off and merely pinned her. Mizumi claimed to the ring and her ring to celebrate with her partner. We got John Wall Lucha Surfer versus Brandon Bray and Brent Tate. So, the so John Wall went to work on Tate in succession, hit a back break for pitfall tap. They tried a little double team work, cut off the ring. The crowd chanted Luchasaurus. Never boy left the cross ring to make the hot tag. He was too big and too strong for the Tate's. Kingston said, Don't worry, like that uh, style. He hit them a double clothesline and popped on the ropes. He did a double choke slam, tagged Jungle Boy in. He assisted Powerbomb and finished on a, squ- a finished squash match. You're clean with your car, brother. Uh, 
Yo, yo, this is, yo, fight the acclaim. You're about to get your mouth smashed and stuff. Mm-hmm. They got the, the acclaim got the victory. And basically, the acclaim is dominating. And, and Bill has got the near pinfall. All this shit done. During the end of the match, he got to do a 10 pence per corner, but he cast, yanks him off the ropes. Bill was tagged Caster. Hit a slam. Caster hit the mic drop. That's how Elevation ended. That was Elevation. I will do Dark in a second. We're back. Let's go to AEW Dark. So let's start with Lee Morali versus Mysterioso. So uh, so we got a test of strength to start from arm angle reversals. Mysterioso did a spring back push off his ribs. Lee took him down, starting cross body. He worked on the left arm, but took a boot to the face, running close on one one count. Tag has mocked down for a nine or different one and two. All right, Mysterio did a double drop kick in the corner, sent him near fall. Test said by Mysterio, not quick enough in his opinions. Mm-hmm. Mysterio looked like we were so ocean. Maybe Moran is just that fast. By the way, super by Moran for a near fall. Mysterio was fall by Brain Buster, hit a power slam, did a double flip, boom, boom, sauce, Moran, slow as that knee. Fireman's carry, slam by Mysterio, also climbed up his rope slowly, and Moran got his boots to block the boom, so Hammerlock Larry had a flat iron, got the morale to win. So that was. That was Morale versus Mysterioso. We got Leo Rush versus Rail. So let's get to the match. So Rush flipped and flew, kicked Rio in the head for wiping out on the floor with so I die. He threw Rio from the back end for a two count and blasted him and kicked to the chest. Rail blocked the next one, but Rush flipped his way back to his feet. Rail got a bulldog and wide row press for a two. Rail lifted him up with chops and forearms. Rail grabbed Rush by the locks of his hair. Should have been a disqualification. Hands for getting back up from Rush. He avoided Rail's kicks and a roundhouse kick of his own. But Bowie did a top rope. Frog Splash connected to the, for the pin immediately afterward. This was more of a squad for giving ass and both. It was a fun one. Let's get to Brian Rose versus Jelka Riss. This was a great match. Rose kicked Risk inside the head. Got near fall. Risk and Rose go grab hands with hands. Throw each other around. We got a crowd chant. You can't do that. But this ref matches the competitors for illegal tactics. Wrist tied, great by the legs for submission for Rose. Broke free, hit a thrust kick to the jaw. Close line, boot to the gut, boot to the knee, into Gary, boot to the Rose, forearm to the face on the rebound. Rose applied neck crank with legs, blocked, and got the submission win. So he, Rose won, she's back. Let's hope she does not win the title. That will be stupid, a horrible decision making by Tony Khan himself. We got Emi Sakura versus Ryo Nimizumi. We got the battle of Japanese feminine feminines. So we got Sakura versus Mizumi. So let's see. Mizumi started with Sai Headlock. Sakura returned the favorite. They collided the ring three times. Near fell down. Show you how 50 minutes match was. They turned to her chopping and each other out as they already could. I said I felt like I was watching. Josh is an R.E.W. A.E.W. dog, and that's not a bad thing. Mizumi finally knocked Sakura down, but Saroge brought the legs so she retook the match. Sakura did a way well with Rocky Chan by Cross Body, but Mizumi brought Cloud Door to the mat. Sakura did a center to the ropes, and she brought the beat her up on the ground, found one of her was distracted. Sakura went for the Queen's Gambit, but Mizumi reversed it. Mizumi hit her with some nasty chops and her close on the court, but leg drop for near fall. Sakura elbowed her out of a hot lot. Mizumi took her down for a close line near fall. Sakura behind with a chop lariat combo. Mizumi spawned her with spear for a, for a two tier to to fall. What we got from Taz is a battle. <coughs> Saruga got on the ropes for distraction and avoid Mizumi with side up and scepter. The Sakura used a Mizumi cradle for the pin. Saruga and Mizumi double teamed her after the bow. But Rio ran out to be the same, and heels bailed. Fantastic match. It's actually Saruga and Sakura double teamed her. Minor mistake. We got Antiogogo again versus Baron Black. This was a good matchup. He got the win when he knocked him out. Recount a knockout victory. And we heard that Baron Black and Gar- John Garanson had their own promotion called Terminus starting in January. Who will the top of Wrestling Nation on the inaugural card? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, so that was the match. A squash match. So, Baron Beck, wait. 
And I'm gonna go look good. That's what he does. Whatever he works with. <clears throat> Sean Spears, Warlow versus Jay Montel, Richard King. So Warlow got the at the victory when he when he hit the power bombs and, and spear attacking, raised the cover and raised Warlow hand. Warlow and Spears got the victory. Yeah, yeah. We got Philo Del Sol versus Luka Samson. Luka Samson is quite big by Kevin Nash. So, Philo did a moonsault off the ropes, kicked Samson in the head, went to the top row. This side got Victoria DT, followed with a double side to the back of the head for three. Philo Del Sol gets the victory. I don't know if AEW is interested in Samson. I could be wrong or no, but whatever. We got T Taz versus. The ball is Icon, Kiko, and JT Dunn. So, yeah, it was basically a squash trios match. Okay. No one cares. <clears throat> T Tass wins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I got the victory pin, whatever it is. Alright, now we go to. We got a Shavon promo with Team Tez. Talk about the Battle Royale tomorrow. So, we're getting more of that. So, stay tuned. <coughs> we got Thunder Rosa versus Sofia Castello. So, Thunder Rosa finished with a pretty necktie for the submission. It was a simply, it was longer, but a typical squash match, nonetheless. So, we got an interview. Talk about saying Rosa said he will. They're waiting to face T- Jade to get his title tournament because she had no respect for Jay at all. Mark Stryer directed to say Jay couldn't be because she was doing rich people thing and she tried to run that and her dad runs that he was so delusional. So I touched me house soon. So he's always going about the match he came to live. It was that Jay argues that bitch. She dumped Rosa behind later on in the segment. We got the John Silver and Dark Order versus Aaron Solo. This was a great match. Hit off with the victory. So it's leading to Judd Silver versus Brian Danielson. And 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 Hungy won the vit got the victory. Then we got a pro from him and he talks about his match with Dan- Brian Danielson from Dynamite that happened. I will review Dynamite after this break. And that was AEW Dark. So I'll be taking a short break and I will be back. We'll be reviewing Dynamite. So stay tuned after this break. Back from break, and now we review Dynamite. Let's go with Dynamite results. Dynamite, first of all, we got the Diamond Diamond Battle Royale. The final two is gonna be Dar- Dar- Darren Dar- Dante Martin and NJF for next week. Mm-hmm. The acclaim, the acclaim, uh, the acclaim, uh, let's see, the acclaim. Oh, yeah, no, it was actually Jurassic Press and. Rusty Blonde, the Rust Press defeated the Acclaim in 2.0. Mm-hmm. A little delay, but yeah, okay. Moreau and Chuck Taylor defeated the Young Bucks. Rio defeated Jamie Hader. Brian Dennis defeated John Silver. That was the results. Results, let's get to the show. We got Punk coming out to enjoy his music, resulting booze from MGF and Hometown Crowd. He fires him up with some great hometown clips. Punk said he has to sell the invader before he can get to the title match he wants. This is MJF kept running, and people are cheering him. Hearing him, he calls them all chicken shit like MJF and, and ball, ball fails. We got a video of MJF being MJF, those who have long eyelids with an all accomplishment and jackass shit bird. MJF Don Martin, again, I said we'll fight next week for the dynamite, dynamite diamond ring. Mm-hmm. We got two player jumping Eddie Kingston after Ross Express, Ross Blonde's victory. Then we got little. Power Power for coming to Eddie Kingston's aid. So we're going to have an LAX reunion in the future. So we got Tully with FTR, former AEW Tag Champion, noted where he is. He wants to get them in the ring. FTR Beard says the Lucha Bros never beat them. He says they are torchbearers of tag team wrestling. Friday they will beat the Lucha Bros with belts, he said. Yuna and Best Friends follow the Bucks and call Cutler after their match. Cole, Panama Sunrise, Cassie Sue drives in her minivan trend here is here when I see guys fine worse again he kills Cutler looks like Hugh Jackman Chris and Sue Lathar Joy Ruby had an interview that is interrupted by the Bunny and Penelope Bunny says him and Penelope Rose and two of Ruby's friends had to fight on Friday 
Friday will be Monster Fight Night by Ghost Deck by Nala and Jane Black Constantine Saber. Diamond Team Champion, Tony Remind just says that yep, and Cody came out. Cody has a mic. Cody said, for one good guy's name, I'd like to let you know on Christmas Day you're defending the title again. Ethan Page laughs, he's mad, Cody gets a mad, but he has it that he was the EP Whisper of Impala. But Dan Lambert got him a toss, I said. Dan Lambert's coming back. The crowd will all his side. Scorpio says Sammy's proves an actual champion. <coughs> Britt beats Rio down after she wins. Give her the lock jaw. Tony's with the Veracity Blondes. Julia Hart. Britt begins to talk about the lights goes out. Malachi as he misses and hits Julia who Julia screams. He disappears. Udo, Udo, Cabana, Angels, John Silver, all the head kicked in, dances just like promised, and he beats his silver up. Paige, rush trip, next week I'm gonna stop the cowboy shit I use. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the rest of it. What happened was, like, winter is coming, we're gonna have Pangman Page versus, versus Brian Dance for the champion. It'll be the main event. It would be a great main event, in my opinion. And the Team Taz storyline will continue on. And we're going to have Hook debuting on Friday on Rampage, which I'll review next. And we got a Sheeta versus D match. match on, a women's match on next week for Winter is Coming. And let's see. Whitney Hem will debut, and I predict Kyle O'Reilly will debut. Maybe a Johnny Go Girl Garen will debut. If he's staying with, or if he's gonna stay with WWE, which is most likely. So, thank you. I will review Rampage now. Now, I'm going to this in a Rampage. Let's review Rampage the recap. Alright, we got the show with. Mm-hmm, we got Discover Taz for commentary. We got Dash and Kazan handling the room. Ringing out some duties. Uh-huh. Now we start with the. Tag Team Championship, Lucha Bros versus CTR. We got uh, the Lucha Bros were often one step ahead to start. The tag team would bring outside the ring and regroup. Hardwood finally turned the time and pulling Phoenix on the ring, slammed his behind the apron. The entire focus on pounding Phoenix. The master was on a rolling up the European uppercut Super Hurricane to Hardwood. The cutter reached his brother on the tag and turned one back to work. Eventually, Phoenix left hand the Pentagon and went for a sleep play as a pump handle driver. Lucha Bros were complete control. Hardwood used for an object on the face, he cried, crashing down on a rock splash. New champ was hurt, however, Phoenix was able to kick out for the giant three count. And to maintain momentum by countering a flying Phoenix into a big rig, Pentagon made the save with a flying crossbar and knocking Hardwood into the pile of break. Good break. All four men took it down and sent the ring. The champ went on to retain the win. Pentagon countered a jackknife pin to a fear factor. Phoenix collided with Hardwood on a suicide dive to press a break. Secure the win, pin on Wheeler to retain the gold. Lucha Bros defeated FTR, still tag them, still tag the champions. Next, we got Louis Soho, Ty J versus Nyla Rose, Money, Pelly Ford. Conti died early, the girl was a game champion, but trying to come to the meeting. Girls could put up a beatdown. Hot Ty and Soho clean the house. Ford cut the momentum by raking the head. Guys, now into the rough house. Soho, Hot Ty the Running wild, left by Mac breaking down speed as moves all around. Throwing the commotion, Vicky grabs past Brass Knuckles the Bunny. She slugged Jay. Now fish with a beast bomb. Now rolls Bunny, Pelly before to be a Ruby So, Ty Conti, and Anna J. She day one. We got Sting. We got Sting. We got Tony Shabon attempt to interfere Sting. Got Beyond Stan Stay. She got passed through her by a tell salt. They held up Sting or some toilet bunch of kick him in the, the, the nuts. The beat was unfinished business for when FTR lost his tongue and nailing and grand slam September. <coughs> yeah. Okay, Hook was a few does or so. We are witnessing Hook's in ring debut when Action Bronze gets the chairman's intent as his theme song. He was dressed as a boxer without gloves. Hook utilized cheap throws, 
suplexes the ground, the screen lifted the door, Riddler really briefly hooked Brock to Tori the DT, Book emerged with Tori after a question clothesline, high class suplex attached mission. Fill to beat it, feel good. So we got my character viewing the participants in the main event. He talks about how Cole will handle the, the union best friends. Cole was promised that they will never be on his level. Cassie warned not to take Will and Utah lightly. Yuta used Cole's bad bit. Catchphrase with Fury. Cole and Nata. Then we close the time for the main event. Adam Cole versus Will and Utah. Cole had a chill drum early. Yuta scored offense only when Cole was caught shoveling down the stretch. Yuta escaped the Hamas side by the rim and by the stretch. Strikes the seven. Yuta sees the one front five smash and calls out his knees up. Cole cast a lower to boot with the money in the Yuta head. So, Adam Cole defeated Will Utah. Sparks flying, Ephemeth, Young Bucks by Fish, Cutler, Mass Trans, Orange Cassidy, and Rocky Mellon were ringside for the bout. What's Cole was leading the winner. Both matches ended a ring with a share down. Fish and Knight, Let's Cut by Orange Trans out of the room with the Mahan. Strap the loud, but never clipped the bands with Jason Ali. Cole connected on the power of Sunrise, Cassidy, Trent with Blast with DT Trigger to close the scene. That was the end of Rampage, and I'll see you for now next Saturday edition of. Of the fallout from winter is coming and random stuff. So, bye.